Hi, my name is Tanya Sheridan. I'm an independent consultant with Close to My Heart and I live in Luray, Virginia. So today I wanted to come to you and talk to you about trick-or-treating for scrappers. So I thought it'd be fun to show you a few tricks, offer you a free few treats, and let's get started. So we have two books at Close to My Heart. We have a core book that is available until August of 2021, and that's where you're going to find our colors, our basic card stocks, our basic stamps, some standard papers, and all that kind of stuff, as well as all the glitter I'm going to show you today. And then we also have a seasonal book. This is our September-October book, and this is where you're going to find all of the beautiful Halloween and fall items that I'm showcasing. So both books are available on my site. You can look at the books in their entirety, or you can look at the products with search options and such. So before I started with all the spookiness, I wanted to tell you about my show specials. That way you can keep it in your head, back of your head as I'm going through my presentation. So it is certainly a day for trick-or-treating for scrappers. So we love to give candy to our trick-or-treaters that come to our doors, and so I wanted to give you some treats as well. So if you make a $50 purchase, on either of my sites, you'll receive a roll of shimmer trim and a package of loose sequins for free. And of course, you can pick out the colors that spook you or delight you the most. Or if you make a $100 purchase, you're gonna receive both of those, but then you can also add a pack of glitter paper and a shimmer brush so that you have all of the glittering that you could possibly need. And then of course, there's also some additional featured specials in my shop. You'll wanna check those out. There are some specials as well. To qualify for the free items, your purchases may be made on either my Close to My Heart corporate site or in my inallsassiness.com shop. So if you go to www.inallsassiness.com, that will take you to a landing page. And on the landing page, you can choose to go to the corporate site where you'll see all of our product, or you can go to my In All Sassiness design shop where you'll see my custom art kits as well as all of the other fun specials that I have for you. So let's get this trick and treating started. The first thing that I wanted to show you is our adorable gnomes. Our gnomes are back. This is the third set that Close to My Heart has in our gnome series. It is the spooky gnomes. It has three fun gnomes, as well as a stinking cute black cat, and I have a black cat, so that one is close to my heart very close to my heart. Um, but you can purchase the stamp as a standalone or you can also purchase it with the thin cuts. And so the thin cuts give you that option to cut out your image first and then to stamp it. So it's also awesome awesomeness that you will find on the site. There's also a garden gnome set and then there's another one called Gnome Matter. So make sure you check out all of them if you love gnomes like myself. But this is a calendar, a countdown calendar that I created. If you watched one of my videos last month, you'll know, you'll remember that I did an advent calendar. So I thought how much fun would it be to take that same format and be able to change out the pieces per the season. So this is my version of the Halloween one. It has little spooking down at the bottom. All of these little doors were created with this fun die set. It is a standard four and a quarter by five and a half. So it'll fit on your standard card. But here you can see I doubled them and flipped one around so that the doors went both ways. And I thought it was just super, super fun. So one trick that I will tell you, there's no glass so that you can, you know, access all of the little pieces. But I, on my gnomes, I layer them three thick and then pop them up on foam. And that just adds to the sturdiness of the gnome itself and keeps it safer longer and more protected so loved that the little banner was cut out of our new pennant set aren't these so cute they're adorable I've used them so many times already you can see that my stamp set is super stained already as well but the set comes with it's the pennant set it comes with the alphabet as well as the numbers and then a couple of cute graphics that could go on the background of your little thin cuts so lots of fun possibilities for you out there certainly I would love to see anything that you um, create with these items and you can share those with me at my email address which is also in all sassiness at gmail.com 
So the other thing I wanted to point out on this before I moved it away is that on the bottom, you'll notice there's this beautiful purple glitter. And you'll also notice it here as well as under the little pennant. And that is our grape glitter shimmer trim. So it's not a full sheet of glitter paper. I made it look like it. And I'm gonna show you a couple other ways that I did that throughout the, this afternoon. But lots of fun and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So I thought, wow, it's perfect for Halloween, right? Okay. So then the next thing I want to show you, I use that shimmer trim again. And this is one of our new sets as well. It is again a four and a quarter by five and a half. And, and it, this is a must have. It's absolutely a must have for card makers and scrapbookers. It will cut out the piece here with all the hearts come out. So that is a bonus as well. And it has this nice fine um, stitching that is beautiful. It is very elegant, especially on the gold and silver foil papers and on the cardstock. You don't see it as much on the glitter paper because of the texture of the glitter, but still absolutely beautiful. So with this, I cut out this grape piece, which is one of our new colors. It's on the light side. So if you're unfamiliar with our cardstock, our cardstock has a light side on one side and a darker side of the same color on the other. So it gives you more possibilities, but this is the light. And you'll notice that a lot of these little hearts, I have put glitter shimmer trim underneath the hearts. So if you zoom in, you can see that those under those stitched, you see the stitched here and then the glitter shimmer trim is right underneath. So you just put one little piece or you could double it so that it encompasses a bigger space. And then I use the stamp set, this little spooky stamp set to stamp all of the little images underneath. And I just use one as a template. And then a couple of the little images, I used our metallic markers, which are fabulous to give it kind of that sparkly shimmery feel to it so lots and lots of fun again this is a standard card size but for this one i wanted to add the shimmer trim on the top and the bottom so i actually made it into a five by seven card and then i'm going to show you some more possibilities with this heart as we go along so this is a card that I created using that same heart. And this you can see is the silver foil. And look at those details. They are absolutely amazing. So we now have acetate that fits our stitched thin cuts and it fits the inside of a card exactly. So that's what I'm gonna show you today is how to create the super fun card and I've done a few steps for us ahead of time just to get ahead of the game. If you cut the piece, this is what it's going to look like, okay? It's gonna cut out just like this, and then you get this reserve of hearts. They are so awesome. Look at all these hearts that you get as you cut out the pieces. So it's like double bonus, right? You'll have a lifetime supply of hearts. So you're gonna cut out the piece. It's gonna cut out like this, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the stitch rectangular it's stuck down on me already um, the foam and it's gonna go all the way around now when I created this card these weren't available yet they are now available so you your piece would be interlocking I just made mine with regular thin cut or thin tape and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mask off these two hearts and those are the hearts where the spiders are so that the sequins don't flow into the spaces now if you want them to you don't have to mask it it's totally your card and what you would like to do and then I just put a couple of other pieces pieces to anchor so that the card is flat all the way across. And then I cheated a little bit and started without you. So this is the card base. I took another one that I cut out and put that down as a stencil and so or a template, however you want to look at it. And so that told me where to glue my spiders and where to glue my pieces. So I'm simply going to just put a little adhesive on the back, hold this down and slide it right in, just like a puzzle. You're gonna push it down and then pull this piece back up, just like that. And that way you can see exactly where you are putting your pieces and it works beautifully. So then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of these fun little sequins. These are in our Halloween sequence set. They have the spiders, that's where I found my spiders, as well as some holographic pumpkins and ghosts, and then lots of fun little sequins. So I know that I masked off my two spiders, so I don't wanna put these sequins around those spiders. I kinda wanna sprinkle them in other places on my card because they're gonna move around, but I don't wanna get too close to those spiders. 
And I don't wanna get them too thick because then they don't tend to shake very well. So I basically pulled out just the sequins in the collection instead of using all of them. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pull off my foam tape all the way around my card. Now you don't have to pull it all off in the center. You can leave those because it's truly for stability, but that is up to you. I typically tend to pull them all off just because I like to make sure that it sticks. But that's up to you. Um, if you wanted to leave some, I would probably pull it off around what you blocked off, so your hearts, your two heart, your spider hearts. And then if you wanted to leave some, these little pieces here, you could leave off if you wanted to. But again, it's just for stability. And then I'm going to get really close and personal to my artwork. I wanna make sure when I put it down that it is anchored around those hearts. And you wanna make sure that you do seal it. So you wanna go all the way around with your finger to make sure it seals. Otherwise, you're gonna have little escapees. So then you're gonna shake it, and as you shake it, you can kind of tap it. The sequins are gonna float throughout the whole card, okay? So this little guy, Happy Halloween, it came from the Gnome set. I loved it because it was small, and it was super cute, and the font was fun. So I already stamped that. I put it on a little bit of black glitter paper and then I just set it right into spot right there, just like that. So I love Halloween. I love this card. I think it is a fun, elegant card. So one that you could send to a college student. Um, it's not so super cutesy cutesy. So I thought it was a fun thing to show you. So I wanted to show you with that in mind, some other cards that I created using that same template, okay? And these are more of an elegant feel. So this is the same concept. You can see this one is a scarlet and gray or red, our color is actually called scarlet, but a red and silver. I'm a Buckeye, so I had to do my scarlet and gray one. But instead of the spiders, I popped up two of the hearts, okay? And then I used the glitter paper and filled in. So I actually cut it once in silver the silver foil, once in the scarlet glitter paper, and once in the silver glitter paper, and then mix the pieces up. So I did the same thing with these. They're actually very similar. So this one is Sapphire and our new color of the year, Bluebell. And so it has a different feel. You could also use this for a Hanukkah style card, just change the sentiment. And then this one is using our julep, which is actually a retired color, but the julep blue sequins are still available. And our new evergreen, which is absolutely the most gorgeous color. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade of green. So here you have elegant Halloween, right? And then you have variations that you could do all throughout the year. And these are all available on in my shop. So you can purchase kits to make all of these as well as the dies to create those. So some other fun things that you can do with that. Here is a layout that I created. So for this, I did a couple things I wanted to point out. First of all, this is that grape shimmer trim, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But I made it into a piece, and then I ran it through my cuddle bug, and it cut out the heart. So I had those to make this cascading uh, flourish over here, and then I used the negative space to create an accent. I just cut it in half. You'll see here would be half, and there would be half. So to create this piece here, I simply took three of these guys and layered them just like this. And then I just came down with the pieces that I wanted and just kind of created that cascading. So then they still had the same positioning. There was a little bit of tweaking. You can see a couple of them are here and there outside of that spacing. But it was super fun and I loved, loved, loved doing it. And I love this color. And I'm gonna show you how I did that in a second. So with this layout, um, it uses that silver foil, so it's pulling that foil across. I also Cricut cut the title, so that was kind of fun. And then down here, there is a flip flap that is added. And again, on the silver foil. Now your flip flap is gonna go on top of your page protector, but because of the reflection, I didn't want to do that for you. Um, I didn't want it to take away. But beautiful using the grape shimmer trim. 
Okay, so I told you that I would show you how I did that, and it's super, super easy and super fun. So these are two new colors. This is the Flamingo, and this is also a Shimmer Trim. So you can see that I have done, covered the piece with my Shimmer Trim and then run it through, okay? And you have these beautiful hearts. Now you will see a little bit of a hairline, but not a big deal, you barely notice it. It kind of adds to the fun. So to do that, all you're gonna do is take your shimmer trim and go across and put one piece down, and then you're gonna go back and put another piece, and you're gonna go all the way up. And our new shimmer trim is much thinner than our older shimmer trim. It's not as stiff, so it has the flexibility, and it slides right through that cuddle bug, which is super, super fun. So a couple of other things. I've showed you some cute, fun trick-or-treating ideas, Halloween ideas, um, but I wanted to show you some more elegant ones because as adults, we need to be spoiled and treated as well. So these are some cards and pieces that I created. This is using our Desert Rose, which is also a new color as well. And here you will see, and hopefully we can zoom down so you can see it, this is a little trinket box. So I took the shaker that I already showed you, this one here, and attached it directly to my box. I custom cut the box, custom made the box, and if you'd like the template, it is cut with a close to my heart cartridge, so I can send you the design space um, file if you'd like. Again, my email is inallsassiness at gmail.com, so just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to send that to you. But lots of fun, and this just went right on the top. So this little box slides out, and you see I have some treats for an adult. Or a college student, um, you know, a shut-in, someone at a nursing home, that type of thing. But if you can see, and it's hard to shake in here, but I used the stamp, this stamp here, stamped Happy Fall on it, and then there are loose sequins all underneath. So the same concept with the, the acetate, and just made it into a fun little box. So this one is a card. And I use this beautiful stamp set. This is my favorite. I have a thing for pumpkins. I just love pumpkins, especially the Cinderella type pumpkins, white and pink pumpkins. So this line just was beautiful for me. It also has thin cuts as well that come on a magnet sheet so you don't lose them. So here is a card that I created and I used the stamps and the thin cuts to do the pumpkins. I outlined them with my clear shimmer brush, right? And then just added some more loose sequins. And then I like to use the stickles, the clear stickles in the center of all of my sequins. So that makes that super fun. And then this is a card that was designed to hang from a gift bag or a bottle of wine. And you can see I did the same thing as well. So there's a shaker element. The card is layered so that the shaker is actually flat with the card, which I thought was a super fun thing. This was also designed in Cricut and on our brand new Grace and Bloom, I believe is the name of the cartridge. Um, and so I just tweaked it to fit, to custom fit. And I just thought, oh, that would be so gorgeous, like hanging from a wine bottle. So the last project was a true labor of love and I kind of mixed all of these different elements together and I told you I had a thing for pumpkins. So this is my pumpkin that I designed. It's a home decor piece. So you have your Gerber daisies in the different colors. So this is our desert rose glitter paper and our desert rose pattern paper. And then I pulled in some scarlet. So this is the back side of the scarlet before I showed you the brighter side of the scarlet, right? And then here you'll see, hopefully the camera will catch it, the same elements that I used on my tag or my card. Let me see if I can pull that back out here. I used here. So I'm a big believer that once you design something, carry it over and you can reuse those designs. So that's what I did. I designed the pumpkin first and I love the way that the little tags looked. So I made a card that complemented the pumpkin. But you'll see here that you have all of the glitter paper. It's layered, there's foam in between. And then the little sequins are just added to the pumpkin. And then I use the clear shimmer brush to do the tops of the Gerber daisies. So I hope that I have inspired you and showed you some fun tricks and hope you found some treats. I want to remind you again where you can find me. These are all of my show specials. They are available until the 12th of October. So that gives you a little time to shop. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful 
fall, a wonderful Halloween, and whatever you do, make it sassy.